Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial in Informatica Data Director. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to customize error messages in IDD. So let's see the current screen of the IDD application. So here we can see there is one error message which is in the red color. It says error occurred, please contact some email address that is abc, abc at the rate test.com or reach out at given number so something like this message so how this message is getting or how, how can we customize these messages so in order to show that we have to do some couple of configuration changes so first thing what i have done i have configured one application <clears throat> so this is the id application we have let me log into this application So this is very first uh, application what we need to do we need to export this once you once we export it it will we can see the exported version here it is IDD application 2 and it has the BDD bundle BDD config and the other properties the other properties such as error code bundle error code bundle English error message bundle message bundle English metadata bundle and metadata bundle English now in order to show in our demo we have to explicitly produce some error right so in order to customize the error messages so in order to produce the error messages we have developed one user exit so it's very simple user exit you can see the details in my previous videos how to create the user exit and one of the method called as before everything I created one null string variable and on that null string variable st I am calling the to string method so what will happen when this method get called it will throw one exception that is null pointer exception because I am calling the to string method on the null object so actually we are producing the error message so that is one of the thing we are doing and this operation will be executed whenever any save operation is going on whenever we save any data and at that time this exception will occur and will pop up on the window so what was the original message if you do not customize the error message the original message was like this save 13,000 error multiple error occurred from the user exit code so by default this message will occur in the edit application if you do not customize this but in case we want to customize it what you have to do you can modify this message something like this there is one more thing we need to take care I will explain that but let me show you one more thing <coughs> so what uh, what I have done I have made this change in the before everything and as well as I have made in before save also means in order to show the error message so this will cause the error messages in the added application after that we have to build it like run as a and build and it will generate us uh, okay build fail let me make some minor change just add space build run as and build and it will generate one file that is user exit file once we done that that is uh, first step the next step we have to make the configuration changes so first configuration change will make into the error code bundle properties where can we find that we can find this property file where we are downloaded the our export of the IDD so in the export IDD we can open this error bundle error code bundle file you will see this file and what we have to do we have to update this matches suppose instead of ABC suppose you want PQR at the red test.com and instead of 1 1 suppose this is 5 5 something like that so let me make this change so you have to make this change in the error code bundle properties as well as the same change we have to copy and put into the, the uh, one more file and that file is nothing but 
error bundle error code bundle underscore en so i will open this file so this file was already there that is the reason it was showing that message i will update this and now this error error occurred please contact pqr message will be updated with the existing message once we are done with this what we have to do we have to go to the application make sure the application is not deployed state Uh, the reason is if you do in the current running state there may be the uh, conflict will occur in your application so it's always good practice before deploying any changes make sure it is a non-deployed state and then apply the changes and then redeploy the application that will be the appropriate way to avoid the conflicts in the code or the, in the cache so similarly like i have shown one error message like similarly suppose you want to customize a generic ma error message if you remember in the idd we get very generic message called as error and error occurred in the informatica data director application contact informatica's global support team so here if you want instead of contact the informatica support team you can give the company name contact abc core global support team and whenever you customize any error message copy that message and put into the error bundle en file also so that whenever you make any changes in your existing error bundle code you have to create the english version of that so that the change get reflected accordingly <clears throat> now the application is in non-deployed state let's go and import the error bundles in order to import the error bundle we have to go to the import choose the import to existing IDD application from configuration type section choose the error bundle error code bundle browse and make sure uh, you are appropriately exporting the file from the import uh, exported version and just select first en uh, the non en version once it is done you can import the english version also on the same line the way we imported the normal version so just select the error code bundle underscore er and import no error messages so we are ok and do the full deployment so once it is full deployment is done we will go and open that application and we have to make sure we have we we need to edit and save that the changes then and then we'll get the error from the user exit so in order to show that let's open this application first we'll search the record and then we'll update the record in order to search we have already prepared one query with the row id object employee name etc open it let me make change to this employee name by clicking this edit button <coughs> i'm making the test user apply so if you say we have not received any error message as as soon as we hit the save button it will call the user exit which is configured in the idd how to configure the user exit again you can refer my other videos in order to configure the user exit you have to update the pdd config and what are the subject area for example if you are working on the employee subject area in this case so we have to go to the employee subject area and go to the primary object and after primary object make sure you have made the entry for the user exit so this is the user exit we actually worked on in the eclipse tool so once it is configured then and then only it will show the error message of the on the save operation so let's click on the save same button and now we got the error message saying that error occurred please contact pqr at the rate test.com and reach out the given number so by this way we can actually customize error messages in the idd I hope this tutorial is going to help you in your project to customize error message 
to satisfy the business need. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or queries about the Informatica Data Director or any other topic, you can mention the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.